Would you like to go to Ohio to see the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and see the Cincinnati Red Reds play? Why not visit Pittsburgh to see the Pirates play a game? Would you also like to visit Baltimore, Maryland to see the Orioles or visit their harbor area which is filled with stores and museums? How about a trip to the hometown of your favorite superhero? Today's guest will talk about the great experience he had on a recent trip to Met Metro... Metropolis, Illinois. The Humanities Communication Arts Department at Norwalk Community College presents The New Directors, the show that introduces you to television's future writers, directors, and personalities. And now join our host, Yelena Dashik, to meet the new directors. Thank you for joining us for today's edition of The New Directors. All of the people involved with this program are students in the television production course and are directing, switching, controlling audio, operating cameras, and acting as talent for the first time today. The guests you are about to meet are students who, when not on camera, are behind the scenes, working hard to bring this program to you with as few mistakes as possible. Each student will write and direct three different productions. This program will give them the chance to talk about themselves, the productions they are planning, and give you the chance to get to know them and watch their progress throughout the semester. Our guest today is a former student from Greenwich High School who has been involved with the stage, behind the stage, and behind the camera. He has also visited many ballparks and many other famous places in, the three, in his three summer vacations, last summer vacations. We would like you to meet our guest today, Adam Joseph and Gatto. Hello, Adam. Um, could you tell us about, out of all places that you visited, what was the most interesting place? What was your favorite place? I guess it'll have to be uh, Metropolis, Illinois. Mm -hmm. I was actually dreamed to be at that place because it's the hometown of my uh, favorite superhero, Superman. And. Um, it was actually a really nice town because uh, I actually met uh, Jim Hamrick, uh, the man who owns the famous Superman Museum there, and uh, actually not really him, I met his old brother mm -hmm. who uh, says that the town's uh, full of really nice people, it's unlike uh, New York City. Mm -hmm. And uh, the uh, best thing about it was first coming there, seeing the 15-foot bronze Superman statue which I got to take full uh, shots of with me and my dad. It's, um, it's a lot bigger in person. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I also liked the museum very much. It was it's almost four times bigger than my own Superman collection. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty neat experience. Uh, especially the best part of uh, attending the uh, museum was to see the Christopher Reeve exhibit, because out of all the Superman, he's my favorite. Because not only was he a uh, Superman on screen, but he was a true Superman in real life. Yeah. And uh, my dad happens to also be a fan of Superman, but his favorite was George Reeves. Because uh, in his generation, of course, they would uh, like the George Reeves story more. But um, it's a very great place. So. And if anybody ever by a chance wanted to stop by there, I guarantee this place would be a great place to visit. That's very interesting. Um, could you tell us why you decided to take TV production course in the first place? Well, because um, originally in French high school for a year and a half I was actually attending t uh, TV production and um, I wanted to learn more about it so I decided when I was going to college I should take courses that would get me more experience in it. Like most of the stuff that I learned in Tier 1 or stuff that I learned in courses before, but some new things I've learned uh, have helped me become more broad and show off my performance. I guess uh, the main reason is to become a future filmmaker. 
Yeah, that's very interesting. Um, so, but what are some of the most useful things you learned in the TV production course at NCC? I'd say most of the uh, things that uh, were new to me were about shift focus, which was a camera technique that I didn't learn very well in uh, TV production. And another um, one that I learned was how to cut scenes and try to make the uh, shots as realistic as possible to a viewer, because uh, it actually helped me out to uh, look a little bit more professional. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'd say um, basically um, using the Avid was a new thing for me, because back in high school I was used to Apple's technology, like iMovie. And um, I'd say the program's quite similar to Final Cut, except uh, it's a little bit more complicated, but I got to go through it. Okay. Yeah, sounds like a very valuable experience. Um, could you tell us about your projects, uh, the Saturn commercial, um, Campus Story, and Academic Festival? Well, with, um, with the, uh, what was the first one? Um, Saturn commercial. Oh. Well, you might the Saturn not go that way, yeah. <laughs> well, the Saturn commercial was um, one that um, helped me out learn how to edit with the Avid for the first time. It was basically just a commercial promoting Saturn cars, and the one thing I could never get out of my head is the uh, audio from that sequence. Mm -hmm. As many people know, I do not like uh, country snob music, so <laughs> it kind of annoyed me a little. But I was able to uh, show off my unique uh, talents in editing the shots together to the best way I thought fit the uh, process of making the commercial. With uh, Campus Story, I got to learn how to use a script and uh, use storyboards to help put the whole project together. And also, like I said before, help me learn how to cut shots better so I make it less boring and uh, drag the scene or the shot too long. And um, basically the story premise was that uh, it was about a kid who was studying for an exam and uh, it uh, went out pretty good. And for the academic festival, I got to actually use uh, filming, uh, the film sto uh, story mm -hmm. for the project, which I take journalism, but uh, this time I got to have experience in learning how to do it in broadcasting. It was a unique experience, learning how to use the camera out there. Not as big as experience as campus story, but it did help me out with uh, my uh, journalism skills. Mm -hmm. Definitely, and it looks like you had a lot of fun doing all of this. But um, tell us about your best project. You have to have one, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, I'd say my, be my best project has to be Campus Story because mm -hmm. uh, it, was, um, it was probably the only one that actually was basically a, a short film instead of a, instead of a commercial or a broadcasting project. But, um, like this scene, for instance, was uh, done at my home. And uh, it was a pretty well shot scene where I just uh, practiced uh, doing the shots equally and not dragging them too long and trying to fit them together so they come as one scene. And uh, it, was, it was pretty neat uh, I was able to get the shots in as good as I wanted in less than one or two takes. But um, the only bad side I had about it was that I couldn't film the second scene, which was going to be like a test taking scene, because originally it was going to be about the exam. But then I figured it would just be better off if I just did it about him studying for it, and then have the surprise ending that uh, he didn't pass. But uh, he can always take the summer courses, which is the big downfall in the whole story. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, what would you like to create next? Well, I was hoping you know, if taking advanced editing, I would probably be able to make a, uh, perhaps uh, in the future, a, a Superman short yeah. film, <laughs> kind of like uh, the Kurt Allen shorts, mm -hmm. perhaps make it black and white just to be traditional, or um, possibly a sci-fi film that I can uh, uh, do some enhanced special effects to try out, and possibly uh, learn to actually make a documentary about myself and my life experiences. Yeah, that's all very impressive. Um, and what are your long-term career goals? Well, step forward to become a future filmmaker and possibly become one of the most popular directors of all time. Yeah. And uh, just be well known. Mm -hmm.
Today we got to meet someone who shared, it, uh, who shared with us how much fun he had going to the Illinois um, Metropolis. And um, as a new TV director, he hopes to apply what he has learned at NCC to make a possible Superman film or a documentary about his experiences. He also plans to use what he has learned from Television One to document his future travels. We would like to thank Adam for joining us today. Thank you. Sure. Uh, we hope you enjoyed meeting one of television's future directors, and we hope you will join us um, each week to watch our progress. Thank you, and have a good day. <laughs> this has been The New Directors with your host, Yelena, a.k.a. Mrs. Misty, with directed by Dougie Fresh. I am your announcer, Christina, your crazy Latina de Jesus. The new directors is a Norwalk Community Stu Student Production. Well, what's wrong with the over there? Okay, we screwed up the last part. I screwed up with a teleprompter and. Sorry. That's all right. That's uh, good. I'll be laughing. Well, the first time. Uh,